A federal lawsuit claims Austin ISD didn't do enough to help students who may have qualified for special education. And the group suing the district says AISD has a history of doing this long before the pandemic. KV's Mari Salazar tells us how the issue could impact hundreds of students. As a parent, Jaren Schiavoline is desperate to get her child the help she needs. It's so hard. So Schiavoline tried to get her six-year-old Genevieve evaluated for special education at AISD. Schiavoline says AISD gave the consent to evaluate Genevieve in December. According to state law, once consent is given, the initial special education evaluation must be completed within 45 school days. It's almost April and Schiavoline says she's still waiting for an evaluation. I was unaware at the time there was this huge systemic problem. We have discovered that several thousand students in Austin ISD have delayed assessments. That's Dustin Reinders with Disability Rights Texas. He says because so many people needed their help regarding this issue, Disability Rights Texas and the firm Suzman Godfrey LLP filed a lawsuit against AISD. There are five child plaintiffs, one including Genevieve. The complaint alleges that AISD delayed 800 students' evaluations, in turn failing those students and impacting their futures. You got to bring up to speed those students who were left behind. Schiavoline hopes Genevieve's story helps bring justice for others in the same situation. The strain that the delay in diagnosis puts on the family is it's just unfortunate and unnecessary. In Austin, I'm Mari Salazar. We did reach out to Austin ISD for comment on this, and a spokesperson told us the district does not respond to pending litigation.